I'm still not fully charged up yet. But I want to take a few minutes to just work on this and <coughs> go as far as I can. As uh, you may have seen in my last video, I'm just getting over uh, what looked like was going to just about be pneumonia. I don't think I was there yet, but uh, I was getting mighty close. I think I'll make them standing. I think what I'll do is just raise them up, see how it looks with a peak to where they are now. And uh, we'll go from there. Uh, let's see. The reason I want to do a Mount Man piece is because next month uh, that DiCaprio uh, movie's coming out and uh, I want to take advantage of the people's interest in Mount Men. And uh, that'll be created by that movie. thought I'd do is, I don't know, I was thinking of having him, this mountain man, had gone out and got a Canadian goose, and he's bringing it back to camp, and as he's coming back to camp, he hears something behind him, and he's, uh, <coughs> looking behind himself to see what it is that's, uh, that might be stalking him. thinking about this while I was in bed the other night, trying to sleep between the chorus of whistles and rasps that were created by my congested lungs as I breathed out. And I was laying there, couldn't sleep, and I was thinking, what can I do? I know there have been pieces done with people bringing back uh, 
birds or turkeys or whatever and uh, just thought this would be an interesting subject. sure the ankles are the same distance from the baseboard. We get a lot of Canadian geese out here. And that's why I was thinking about it. And this was a major fur trapping area during the 1840s. Uh, this valley saw Jim Bridger and all kinds of mountain men. Osborne Russell, who was uh, a trapper who kept a journal while he uh, came out in the 18, 1830, I think it was, and uh, trapped all up and down this valley over in the Yellowstone Park area, uh, spent the winters at Fort Hall, Idaho. Of course, it wasn't Idaho at the time. There we go. Everything seems solid. All right, now, one more thing I need to do. Okay, now on these true form armatures, the hips are made for women and not for men, so you can change it uh, with uh, by taking off, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch of the hip. It won't hurt anything, it just uh, make the hips a little narrower. These uh, true form armatures are made to be adjusted. wide enough for a woman if you want to do a woman piece he, uh, and I'm t when I say he I'm talking about Payne Laura who is the owner of uh, True Form Armatures and who designed these and he made these exacting uh, as far as uh, uh, proportions and length of bones and stuff like that it's comforting to know that I don't have to uh, worry about Getting everything just right. You're constantly che checking yourself, make sure that the leg bones are the right distance between the joint and the knee and the other joint and down to the ankle. And with true form, you don't really have to do that. So, pain took a lot of, pain Laura's took a lot of uh, time. Uh, getting anatomical measurements and, and uh, precisely putting them into his armatures. Uh, 
he's a genius. But anyway, don't tell him I told him told you that though. I don't want him to get a big head. Payne is a heck of a sculptor himself. He's a he he does a lot of monumental works. I think I'm going to call it quits for now because I'm just worn out. Um, so I don't know if I'll be. Well, this, what is this today? It's, oh, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, so I won't be working on this tomorrow. So it'll probably be next week before I get back to work on this. But I just had to do something, work out the idea that was working out in my mind. I think that's going to look good. So. Uh, one of the first things I'll do next week is design the uh, the base. I will probably want to make it round because these things always work out better on round because then they can fit anywhere on a table or a pedestal and they don't uh, make look good. to show you through my dirty window and screen how beautiful it is outside right now. But how very cold it is, too. All right, good night. See you next week.